hello guys uh today we have a dell machine that is turning on but it's not putting up meaning there's nothing on the screen anyway you know the story guys whenever i check a machine there is not putting up there is not showing anything on the screen i normally use an external keyboard you know why to see if we do have the caps lock guys the machine will never give you a caps lock if the machine is not putting up all right you only get the caps lock if the machine is putting up anyway there we go i was removing everything i had to take out the motherboard as always anyway the first thing that i did it was the physically inspection always do a physical inspection and i've connected the charger straight into a charging port all right uh, and there is a power button underneath that uh my little motherboard there on the left hand side on my left hand and the machine was turning on it's just that it wasn't uh showing anything on the screen no fan spin it wasn't putting up and i remember very well the cpu was getting warm a little bit so what i did here on this case i went into uh the 19 volts and there was a 19 volts and next to the 19 volts next to the cpu there that was the bios the bios chip i checked the pin number one uh nothing no no, no pin number one there, there was power okay and as you can see next to the uh, coil there on the cpu the machine was getting power but the bios it was misbehaving pin number eight there was uh 3.3 of which is the power supply for the chip but the other voltages were right were fine for instance see there 3.3 other one are giving me 0 0.6 some 0 0.4 voltage some 0 0.6 but the main one and the other one was giving me 2.2 volts guys whenever you have these uh voltages on the bios i'm telling you you have to program that bios chip now nah? we have to program that bios chip anyway this is the bios chip something like this made by wind bond anyway guys uh yeah, the first thing that you do you go online you look for that being file because normally you won't be able to clean that i am erasing yourself so the best thing is you go online you can do it it's easy but the first thing that you can do guys i believe it's more basic you can just go online and look for another binary file another bin file Okay, you type the port number i was typing and the port number and at the end you, you put the revision after a revision you said uh bios and then on the results you have to look for the bad caps i prefer the bad caps and there we go i went into uh bad caps and luckily i remember very well i got the file if i remember very well from the bad caps uh, right all right guys while you are there on the bad caps to be sure that you are downloading a working file you have to go through the comments i normally scroll and go through all the comment section and check what people were saying okay as you can see people were saying this file work for me 100 percent even that guy he posted a file saying working dump 100 percent that's exactly what we have to do we have to download the files that are working 100% normally you will get a lot of people commenting saying the file works for them that's exactly what you do you download those working bios files working bin files okay uh, normally i download the pin files and i extract them on my on n folder in this case i extracted the files on the downloads and then now what is the next step you have to take your hit and take down 
take down what the bios file i mean the bios are uh, cheap <laughs> now i'm saying the bios <laughs> file no you have to detect down the bios uh cheap all right guys be very careful when removing the bios chip because normally on the bios chip on the motherboard there will be those little uh, resistors around the bios chip so you have to be very careful in my case i used the that's a mini programmer the usb one and i've been using it for years i've never had any problems i won't lie to you it's been i've been years i've been using this and i've never had any problems i won't lie to you guys and it's working fine for me it's working perfectly fine so you have to wait for the chip to cool down a little bit so once done you have to mount that uh um, you have to mount the bios chip back into a programmer wait for it to cool down once it has cooled down you mount it into a desktop and then you run an application called it neo program i use neo programmer to program all the bios okay you have to read the entire chip uh read the entire chip once done reading the entire chip you have to do what a backup rename that file as a backup and save it where you keep your backup files you need the backup because anything is possible you might have uh problems in future and need that old bin file so that's why you have to save the old bin file always have a backup guys i do recommend you to have what a backup otherwise you're gonna mess around please always have what a backup guys please 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 and another thing after doing a backup then you can go ahead and erase as you can see i was erasing the entire thing once erased the entire thing then from there you can be able to load what to load another bin file on an empty uh chip anyway guys uh, and there i was connecting everything back together putting back mounting back a bios uh chip anyway i wasn't sure whether i was 100 percent right even though the multimeter said uh the multimeter showed me the sign that the bios chip was corrupt but i wasn't 100 percent sure anyway guys uh i was done just putting back everything nothing much so that's why i was skipping i was uh, i mean i was fast forwarding the video because there was nothing to show you there guys except to show you what the results anyway i will see you next time bye bye and the machine is working